Hi everybody, Jo here again. How are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. So come on in, get that kettle on if you fancy a drink. Let's have a cheeky biscuit, maybe a bit of cake. Let's do a bit of crafting. Fancy a bit of a crafty session with me. Now today I'm going to be looking at these ink pads. I've had a few of you messaging me telling me that you've bought the uh, Brilliance ink pad and these lovely little dewdrop ink pads from Lavinia and you just want an idea of what to do with them. So I've come up with a design here and I just thought I'd show you just straight off a first doing a technique, a, a sort of design I love. Now often for me that's what I do when I get a new product I see how it will work with the type of designs that I personally like to do and then I will explore other ways of using it and perhaps coming up with new designs. So this is what I thought we'd have a, a little play at. Now I did also have another and I'll just pop these to the side. Um, so the brilliance is the moonlight white. Really important, make sure you keep this, don't throw this plastic away. It's really important that it is sealed up well and I would always recommend storing mine this way unless when it gets near the end of its life I've got to be honest I pop it upside down and I always just write on the back I know a few of you asked the date when I, I buy new ink pads so I know because quite often especially with my black my Versafine Claire I have three or four because I always keep them sort of as I have one that I re-ink I always have a brand new one and I always have an older one that's great for really doing shadowy second, third generation. So I always write on the back. Now these are fabulous, the little dew drops. We get four different colours, a silver, a copper, a gold and um, platinum. Lovely, honestly, great to have a play with. So great for different surfaces. The drying time will vary depending what um, sort of surface you stamp on. Now, once I'd had a play, I came up with this card as well. And it's using the same technique we're going to do. This one, I've used just a piece of black card. And I've got to be honest, this was an off cut. Great for using your off cut. I've used one stamp and it's this lovely um, meadow grass. A couple of colours of the dew drop on it. And, you know, that's all you need. Wonderful. And I think that'd be great for a, a, a man's card. And, you know, I'm thinking things like gold wedding anniversary. We've got the heart stamp. You could use the gold. They've got the platinum. The, you know, honestly, oh, what once. And that's the thing. When you get a new product, for me, use it once with a technique that you would normally do. And honestly, once you've done that, you'll find yourself, you'll just keep, then your head starts and your crafty mojo, crafty juices come into play and you'll be just going with it. Now, I found these papers are fabulous for this. So at Lavinia, we, we, we sell these gorgeous cards and paper packs coloured. So look out for those. And as I say, they work really well. Now, you know, I'm hesitating because I'm looking where to put all these things. Right, we'll file them on the floor. So I'm going to start off with a piece of a, it's sort of a darker blue. And this is five and a half inches because I know that will look nice on a six by six card blank. And I'm going to bring in my Brilliance ink first. Now, I also have for me one of the smaller stencil brushes. And I know I'm sad, but I've written white on it because I don't want to think it's a new one, but I keep it now for this specific ink pad. That's just me. That's my tip. The other, my smaller ones, I do sort of go between blues, you know, light blues, dark blues, but this I've kept just for white. And I'm going to bring in one of our circle acetate masks just to make the moon. And I found this is lovely. So I'm going to dip in my ink. And I'm going to start in the bottom corner. I want to try and almost make, I don't want it to be solid white. Oh, sorry, that's Eric. You all right, mate? So if you heard that noise, that's Eric under my craft table, my black Labrador having a coffee. Okay, okay. I just got to get back to the ladies and gentlemen. Right, so... But I, I don't want it to be a solid white. And the best way I've found to do this is come in at the base. And this almost gives a solid area. And then when I've got less ink on my brush, I'm almost going to come round. I want it lighter up here just to make the moon look almost a bit more 3D. And I'm just going to take this ink here 
can you see so I'm bringing it back on it's more solid here and then I'm almost going to lightly lightly almost miss little bits if I move my hand just to try and make it easier for you to see so that this bit here you know when the moon has almost those craters and Sally I know you, you you'll be able to tell me what it's all called but I'm just thinking I don't want it a solid white I want the solid white here and that's where we've got more ink and then here so if I lift that off carefully she says look and for me now it's really important we pop that on and then that and we're going to give this a wipe and again it just wipes off I've got a wet cloth and then my inky binky and the ink it's archival but wipes off look it is fade resistant as well this ink look at that and to me I love that just that sort of fuzziness we've got the solid and then the fuzziness so let's get some stamping and first of all I'm going to come in with one of the foxglove now with the foxglove you get two stamps look beautiful stamps use these a lot love these and I'm thinking let's come in with copper and I'm just going to turn it round because you know me it's the way I work and I'm just going to wink up the whole stamp and we'll just have a couple of these we'll have a main one here and then we'll have one here and I'm not going to wink up I just want the top of it that's what I'm thinking we put one slightly over the moon and let's have a second generation and a third so we've got a bit of a clump there just try and get it looking a bit natural and then we'll have another one and we'll just have maybe the tip of one there pop that there now again to clean up just wiping with a damp cloth look straight off no problem you know me I have to clean my stamps dry it with my inky binky and that's perfect so don't worry it doesn't ruin your stamps at all and I'll turn that around so you can see how it's starting to build up now we'll come in now with the wild summer flowers and I think in my original I used the gold for this and my tip is when you're inking up don't press too hard So let me have a look. Let's have one of these. Oh, perfect space there. Could we get a little second generation down here, do you think? Yeah, like that. So let's sync up again. Won't do all the stem. One thing I'm doing with these florals is I try not to ink up the whole stem. Some I want the full stem on, but some I just want... We need one going the opposite way don't we again you know I could make so many of these and no two would be the same I don't know about you I do find it difficult making two the same and I think we just need that touch there what do you think I'm so pleased with the way this is building up so again lid on important lid on again wet cloth well damp cloth and look cleans up beautifully binky binky have to say we went on holiday <laughs> must just tell you this but don't tell anyone so we went on holiday first time we went for our meal in the hotel beautiful cotton napkins and I unfolded my cotton napkin popped it on my knee and Carl went I hope that's gone on your knee and not in your bag don't have that as an inky binky now I didn't obviously it went on my knee but it made me laugh that he instantly saw my cotton beautiful napkin as an inky binky. But obviously I've got my inky binky here, but it did make me smile. So if you're the same as me, when you go anywhere, beautiful posh restaurant, lovely napkin, do you see it as an inky binky or is that just me? Right, we'll come in with the field grass and I'm thinking we've got platinum or silver. What should we go for? Should we go for platinum? 
Now, field grass, as you know, great favourite of mine. And I'm just going to ink up the edges because what I think is this is going to give such a light. Oh, look at that. And I just think the colour tones with this. Like I say, you don't need a lot of ink. Don't overcook it. We don't want to spoil it with this. Now, if I just clean that, let's have a little bit just touching those top bits. If I look at this now, I'm thinking here and here. Just got, we just need a little bit of something. So let's just come in there with first and then just, and let's just ink up the little tip. See up here where we just want a little bit like the field grass is in the distance. Right, tiny little one here. Right, that's it. Don't want to overcook it. Don't want to spoil it. Don't want a pizza, do I? Speaking of food and restaurants, no pizzas here. Give that a wipe. And look at that. If I twist that in the light... Now, a couple of little finishing tricks. What I like to do is, and I'm sorry, just not to the lamp. With the brilliance, now this does dry, but in all honesty, I like to give a bit of a, just with my heat tool, just to speed it along a little. But what I'm thinking is, on my original look, if I show you, if you can see, I created quite a, almost like a misty feel along the bottom. So to show you, all I did with that was bring in, again, the lovely white, and I actually got some off my lid for this. And just along the bottom, I just did a little bit of, and it's almost creating that lovely misty, and again, it's up to you how far. I can maybe just have a little bit. Maybe this one will have a little bit come in. A bit like that lovely misty. You know when you get that just sort of clouds go over the moon at night and it looks very ethereal. I mean, again, you can add more stamping to this. You could add some fairies. I purposely didn't add a butterfly to any of these because I thought, I tend to be using that little, that fabulous pound stamp, the flutter by so much. Right, lid on that. Let me just give this a wipe and a dry. Now, can, can you see how we've got that lovely, I think that lovely misty sort of feel here. And then to finish off, I'm just going to edge it. Now again, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I just think if I pick up one of those colours and I'm going for the copper look and just drag all the way around. And just to show you how dry it is, look, my thumb, normally if you put your thumb on your stamping, but because we just popped the heat tool over it, And then last little thing to finish off, I'm just going to add a few little Posca splats. Now, you may not want to do that. You may, let me bring in a piece of white card so you can just see that edging. Look, I don't, does that show it any better? But I'm thinking a few little Posca splats, just a few. So again, a good shake. And I'm just going to gently tap. And again, remember, use your brush. Don't use anything metal. Don't use scissors or anything. Because, you know, if you hit yourself, you're going to hurt yourself. And also, the, the, the blade can actually damage your pen. And there's no need, look. That's beautiful. Just gently. And I'm directing it where I want it, look. Just want delicate, little. Delicate, gentle. I think I said delicate then. I think I've developed a new word little bit of gentle and delicate. So we've got delicate little splats. Just for me, makes it look a little bit more ethereal. But if you don't want to add the splats, you know, you don't have to. Now for me, I've got to say, that's a lovely way of using them. I'll bring in my original. And if I open it up, look. I'm hoping I can get both on there to show you. 
So there's the one we've created today. Just fit on, look, and there is. And I just think how, look at that zooming in. Ooh, how pretty are those? This one I've left the sky. This one, we've added a bit of that mist and cloud. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope it gives you a little idea of what to do with these fabulous new ink pads. And don't forget, we've got this one too. Same way of using the moon, just a different stamp. And this time I've had two colours of ink on the stamp before stamping. And again, it doesn't damage the ink pad or the stamp. Fabulous technique. So have a go, have a play, tag me in, pop them on our um, Lavinia For You group on social media, on Facebook. Please, let's share the love. You take care, everybody. Thanks for popping in. Safe journey home. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.